to the Super Series finals. So the number one seeds in the white shirts, Chin Yi Hui and Wong Pei Ti, the far side of the court up against the world number two ranked pair, the number two seeds, Cheng Shu and Zhao Yun Lei. No doubt, as far as the crowd's support is concerned. Nothing to do with the popularity of the players. Political reasons, I suspect, that are well documented. And let's put that aside. Sport is supposed to be above that. Well, if you were with us yesterday, you would have seen Cheng Shu and Zhao Yun Lei playing against the Korean pair, the number four seeds of Kim Ming Jung and Ha Jung Un. And they absolutely disposed of them with ease. 21-13, 21-12 in 33 minutes. And I have to say, it was very, very impressive. Well, there's a few Malaysian fans here in Jakarta. And the crowd just seeing that they were in camera shot. Two giant screens here in Estora Stadium. Oh, lovely placement of the smash. rally and an awful lot of work from Wong Pei Ti covered an awful lot of ground Definite sign of nerves. Cheng Shu serving into the net. Yes. Great placement on the attacking play from Wong Pei Ti. Aiming towards the right shoulder of Cheng Shu. Yeah, lovely change of pace. And just tap the shuttle down in a downward direction. Malaysia.
runs since one eight of the last nine runners. And Chin E. Wee will not be happy with that. It was a golden opportunity for her to put that one away as well. That's a lovely defence. Great defence by the Malaysians. And it's over. And five. And the Chinese pair at the moment looking a little bit bewildered. And very uptight, especially Chen Shu. They work so well as a pair. They're eight years playing together. Really is showing they have this understanding of where to move, who's going for what shot. And they have a five point advantage at the mid game interval. While the coach, Chinese coach, getting very animated with his players. Chen Zhengzhong shouting instruction from the side of the court as well. So the number one seeds, Chen Yihui and Wong Pei Ti with this five-point advantage in the opening game. It's going wide. Yeah, once again, they work so well for each other. Doubles is about setting up the rally for your partner to finish it off. And if both players are looking good, it means that both players are playing their role. Chinese pair have actually enjoyed far more success in 2009 than the number one seeds. Won the German Open in March. Reached the final of the All England Championships when they were unseeded the following week. Got revenge, incidentally, over those All England champions pair that defeated them in the All England final beat them here in the quarter-final stage. Zhang Yao Wen and Zhao Ting Ting, of course, not only won the All England, but won last week. Singapore. Hesitation with the Chinese pair is costing them dear. 
But the hesitation is brought about by the fact that the Malaysians are playing so well. Tactically, they're doing exactly the right thing. Look at that little change of pace, but that's a brilliant, brilliant shot from Cheng Shu. Well, most people here, myself included, thought that that little block there was going to be an outright winner for the Malaysians. confusion again ah, but they get away with it two shots running both the Chinese players trying to play the same shot got to sort themselves out it wide That's another area of the game which has improved so much with this Malaysian pairing. Defensively now, they are so solid. And I think it was frustration from the Chinese that they couldn't break down the defence that forced them into error. And the Chinese pair just simply aren't playing with the sort of confidence that they showed yesterday in their semi-final against Kim and Ha of Korea. Look at this, error after error. Pushed it well, well long of that back line. Service over, 19, and the number one seeds now just two points away from this opening game. Oh, that's landed on the line. Came back in with the drift. Yeah, better placement of the attacking play. Still a tall order to come back in this opening game as far as the Chinese are concerned. Oh, that's lovely. Over. 
six game points now for Chin and Wong. Oh, that's a very nervous looking serve. Travel just popping up and getting what it deserved. Two game points saved. It is actually 16-20, our score graphic there. One point behind. There we go. Opening game. Greeted with almost silence by the crowd here in Estora Stadium. Chin Ihui and Wong Pei Ti take the opening game in just 15 minutes, the score, Chinese coach off the bench. Try and give his input. Twenty-one sixteen, the opening game in 15 minutes and the number one seeds, the world number one pair, Chin Yi Wei and Wong, Wong Pei Ti of Malaysia, quite frankly, were superb. Chin, the left-hander, come back from a very nasty back injury. And the number two pair in the world from China, Chen Shu and Zhao Yunlei, have somehow got to turn things around. Getting in a muddle in the opening game. Looked unsure of their tactics. And in contrast, the Malaysians look relaxed and confident. But as far as the Malaysians are concerned, they mustn't let up at all. Got to keep on the sort of pressure that they imposed on their opponents in that opening game. Oh, brilliant. There was a defensive shot in the middle of that rally from Chin Yi Hui that was out of this world. Backhand defense, she just blocked the shuttle across court. Superb. Okay, please. Umpire getting a little bit concerned that the Chinese are taking too long in between rallies. Yeah, yeah. Change of pace.
Great judgment. Service over. Ball three. And I think for the Chinese pair are concerned, even more important that they get on the attack from that far side of the court, because if they're defending, there's that real danger with the drift in this arena. The shuttle is flying faster, coming towards us. So if they're defending and lifting to the back, there's a real danger they're going to hit long of that back line. As indeed they did in that last rally. Five, three. And she's looking very nervous, struggling to find her form. Cheng Shu. Lovely, lovely placement. It just shows that it's not so much about the power, it's about the placement. The awareness of where your opponent is on court, not only where they are, but how they're standing defensively. Are they committed to the backhand defence? Once again, it was a change of pace. It was almost a half smash. Seven, five. Vary the pace, vary the angle. Switch from forehand to backhand. It's all clever, clever stuff. That is brilliant. And just with so much confidence just gets out of the way and allows that shuttle to drop long of the back line. Racket not facing in a downward direction. The fault on the serve there. Yeah, that's a good judgment. What a waste as far as Chen Shu is concerned. She knows it. That's wild. And once again, the Chinese pair getting so frustrated that they can't put the shuttle away. And that frustration is translating into errors. She's made one or two errors on serve, has Wong Pei That's lovely. Hesitation this time from Xiao Yunlei. 
thought that the shuttle may be drifting wide, decided to play it by the time she decided that it needed to be hit. It dropped too late and therefore she made the error. 11-7, mid-game interval. And the Malaysians are looking good. One game to the good, 11-7 up as well. The world number one ranked pair, the Malaysians. And the Chinese need to do something special, but it seems to me they're getting more and more frustrated with themselves. Unable to find form. Unable to maybe implement the tactics they've been instructed to use. Yeah, complete mishit from Wong Pei T. And that really does give the Chinese the opportunity to get back into this. And that is the first sign of confusion with the two Malaysian players playing together for the eighth consecutive year. Usually such a good understanding. Oh. Ten, well, I said I thought this was going to give the opportunity to the Chinese pair. Indeed, it appears it has. Narrowed the gap to just two points. Chinese can't believe the score. We have a separate service judge, line judge. Well, we can't see that because her foot was in the way. But there was no indication with arms from Chin Yi Hui. It just allowed the line judge to make the call. Oh, that was going to go long of the back line, but Wong Pei T chose to play it. on the return of serve. And now, just one point in it. Once again, the umpire having to get involved as to whether the shuttle should be changed or not. Perfect placement of the smash from Wong Pei T. Channel attack down the center of the court. Not only confuses your opponents as to which of the two players should take that shot defensively, but also narrows the angle of reply. 
more chance of getting your net player involved then. Just like that. Lift well long of that back line. Remember, of course, they had a four point advantage at the mid game interval then won the next rally to have a five-point advantage to the Malaysians. And that's been whittled away. Perfect. What a lovely placement. Court Mopper will need to come on. Yeah, tactical awareness. Men's doubles all very fast and furious and very exciting to watch, but it's the thought and tactics and guile and disguise of the women's doubles players that is so intriguing. A psychological game going on here. It's going to go long. That was a good rally. Mona Petit made one or two errors on her serve so far in this match. And it's a good serve here and it was excellent. Good defence, clever little half-court pushes from the Malaysians. And they've opened up a little cushion once again. Four points and look at the expressions of the Chinese players. The bitter disappointment and for Chinese fans, that will be worrying because you want to see your players saying, OK, forget that, on to the next point. Let's stick with it. Credit to them there. Well, they've had wonderful control at the nets earlier on in this match. Deserting them there, though. <laughs> That's going to go wide. Once again, 
just one point the deficit. This next rally could prove crucial. Great return of serve. Positive, committed. And just three points away from the title now, the Malaysians. They've got to put that out of their minds, though. Sharp at the net, hunting the shuttle, Wong Pei T. <laughs> Taking their time, the Chinese. Just two points required for the Malaysians. The last title they won was the Super Series Finals in Kota Kunabalu. December last year, six months. Oh, placement, absolutely perfect. You could see both the Chinese players just hesitating and leaving it for the other. And now four match points for Chin Ihui and Wong Pei Ti of Malaysia. Good low serve. And they take it. Their first title for six months. Their first title as world number one ranked pair. And they won their title in style. Symmetry in the score. 21-16, 21-16. And the Malaysian fans here in Jakarta who are outnumbered, but they celebrate, and rightly so. World number one pair confirm their status. Previous best in 2009 in any tournament was quarterfinals. But of course, Chin Ihui has been struggling with that bad back. But they are back in style. Their confirmation that they have won the Indonesian Open. Chin Iwi and Wong Pei Ti, 21-16, 21-16.